Guys, this isn't a video I usually do. This is a uh, LeBron James rant video. Earlier today, I was just hearing on Undisputed how Skip Bay uh, Shannon Sharp defends LeBron James like he's a fucking god or something. Like, this nigga LeBron James lost five NBA Finals. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five. Five fucking NBA Finals. How trash can you be? This nigga lost to the two times to the Warriors, two times to the San Antonio Spurs, and one time to the Dallas Mavericks. Like, the Dallas Mavericks, you got your ass beat. His first time with the Spurs, you got your ass beat. The uh, Warriors last year, you got your ass beat. Here, and you guys are gonna complain. They, you, they, them guys have four all stars. Kobe beat four All Stars. Why can't LeBron? Kobe beat Rondo, and don't 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 deny that Rondo was as good was not that good. Rondo was good at that time. His productivity was as good as Draymond Green's. Yeah, it, Kobe beat Rondo, Ray, Pierce, Garnett. That's four. So you guys, you guys make so many excuses for LeBron James. And you guys just be like, he went. To, at least he went to eight straight NBA Finals. Well, what did he do in them eight straight? He lost. He won some and he lost some. Oh, he lost most. LeBron. And then you guys be like, Jordan lost in the first round. How many times? He got swept in the first round. Look at the teams he played. This is what doesn't make any sense. Look at the teams he played, and his scoring. He was like going for 30, 40 on these teams. He played, a, I think, a 60-win team, Milwaukee Buck team. He played the Boston Celtics with Larry Bird, Robert Parrish, Kevin McHale, and Dennis Johnson. I think he played them twice. And he played the Detroit Pistons. Now, tell me, you can put, if you can put this LeBron James team right now that he has, tell me if he can do any better against a 60-win Milwaukee Buck team with a Defensive Player of the Year uh, what's his name? Sidney Moncrief, Terry Cummins, and so on. Or he can beat uh, Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, Dennis Johnson, and Robert Parrish. Tell me if LeBron can do any better. His ass would get beat. His ass would get his ass lit up. And that's that's why I don't get this Jordan loss so many times in the first round. He's been playing all-time great teams. That don't make any sense. And LeBron been playing scrubs. Fucking scrubs like an Indiana Pacer or a, a Detroit Pistons or who was a Brooklyn Nets team like these teams are fucking trash or New York Knicks these teams are fucking trash Jordan is playing all-time great teams and here's another thing I'm I stumbled upon Jordan went six for six in the NBA Finals that's better than anything LeBron can do I'm Kobe only lost two Shaq only lost two. Magic maybe lost two. He got five. Shaq got four. Kobe got five. And Kareem probably lost, what, one, two or three. Like, how many... These are all-time Mount Rushmore players. How many chances do you need? And two, I'd be surprised if LeBron get out the East this year. He just got his ass whooped by the Pacers. That series gonna go to either six or seven. Give Michael Jordan a chance to play these teams he's been playing. I'll be surprised if they win the game. Like, really? And uh, even if you beat the Pacers, it's not a guarantee you beat the Raptors. Or it's really not a guarantee you beat Philadelphia. Because Philadelphia has your number. And if you do leave and go to Philadelphia, you'll be a sucker ass nigga, bro. Like, straight up, why would you go to Philadelphia? You're supposed to be, quote unquote, the best player on the team. Now you're wave hopping. You're trying to hop the Philadelphia wave. Why are you trying to hop the Philadelphia wave once they're starting to get good? That's when I know this nigga is trash if you go to Philadelphia. Either you stay your ass in Cleveland or you go back to Miami. Jordan didn't go to that many teams. And let's hear the argument. Uh, LeBron's going to have more points than him, more rebounds, and more assists. And Scotty said in this ESPN video, Michael's job was to score the ball. 
His Scotty's job was to be the point forward, pass, assist. I mean, that's, that's the same thing. Shit, pass, rebound, steal the ball, do everything, do the dirty work that Michael didn't have. That Michael didn't have to do. Like, if Scotty wasn't there to do that, Michael would have had more assists, more rebounds, more steals. Would have been a better, way better defensive player than LeBron. Right now, and Jordan's a better free throw shooter. LeBron can't even shoot free throws. You saw the last game against Philadelphia. That bitch barely made hit the rim. This nigga LeBron, this nigga LeBron can't shoot free throws. He's trash. So you have a star that can't shoot free throws. All right, you can pass the ball. Your vision is great. You're a great rebounder. You're six eight, two hundred sixty pounds. Only thing you got to do is just walk your big ass to the basket, bro. Michael Jordan was maybe, what, 220? That's a slim frame. Six, that's, that's skinnier than 6'8", 260. And it was sh shorter. And two, LeBron James came straight out of high school. I don't know where you guys are. That's why he's up there. If Michael came straight out of high school and then played two years or three years in college and didn't take two years off in the NBA and didn't retire his first go around. Guess how? Would you imagine how many points would he have? I'll be. He probably would have had fifty thousand points, if that's a little too much. Well, not fifty thousand. That's a hell of. Okay, forty. Maybe forty-four thousand. If he came straight out of high school. Maybe. Eight thousand rebounds. Shit in uh. Maybe 7,000 assists. Those are probably average roughly around 33 points a game. Like, if that isn't all-time great stats, what is it? I know you can't say. And two, his shoes are ugly as shit. I don't know who designed your shoes, LeBron. I don't see nobody on the streets rocking your shoes. i rather... This is what you see people rocking. Jordan 11s. I don't know who designed your shoes. Did you get your shoe designs out of a trash can, my nigga? Take a look at his shoes. Those shoes are fucking trash. Who designed your shoes, Stevie Wonder? This nigga can't see. I'd rather go around rocking the, the sandals African wears rather than your shoes. Look at the Eric Kuntas, bro. Okay, I'm done fucking around. Yeah, you're trash, LeBron. I'd be surprised if you make it out the East. Please share this video. Let's get this video viral. This video, I'm trying to get this video viral. And you want me to do another NBA rant video? Please hit that like button, subscribe, and share it. Share it to all y'all LeBron James fucking lovers, quote unquote the king. Share it to Cavs, Nasty, OSN, or whoever likes the Cavs. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace.